Can we? There's a huge glare, you know, on this head. Oh, maybe just because. Oh, talking about taller. Mm-hmm. We're on live, yeah. Jesus, Paul. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> It's a new day, darling. It's time to sing the song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. Yes! Yeah. Camille, what is that brother's name? Oh, I'm saying, oh, I love him. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul. I worship your Slow to anger. Your name is great, and your heart is kind. For all your goodness, I will keep on saving. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find.
Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday. We are so excited this morning because um, we actually have live bodies in the house today. Come on, Voyager Church, some of you, make some noise. Amen. Amen. We're ready to worship the Lord this morning. So let's all join hands or voices, I'd say. Join voices as we sing today. Oh, we worship you, oh Lord, yeah. Won't you open up our eyes, ears of our spirit, Lord, yeah. I'm going to sing it out to the Lord today, open the eyes of my heart, come on. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord, open the eyes of my heart, I want to see. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. See you high and See you high reconciles us to God through your blood you're also the God who reconciles us to one another Father will you heal us God from the inside out will you 
you make us whole again. As a body, as a mind, as a soul, as our emotions, our mental well-being, as a church. And use us, God, to speak life, God, to the ever-changing and ever-darkening world. So, Father, we, we worship you, the King of all kings, God.
fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord. now, God, more than ever, Father God, in this dying world, Father God, where there's violence, where there's mistrust, you are rising us up, Father, as an army for you, Father. Will you use us as your voice of truth, God? Because when things come down to it, Father, we look to you. We look to your word, Father God. Will you just bless this part, Father God, this little part that we play little church called Voyager that that you're using God to make a difference Father will you hear us Lord in our worship will you heal us Father God and I thank you already for your healing you make deaf ears hear God by your touch you are the light in the world and when the uh, electricity goes off you are the one that brings it back Father God <laughs> you bring life from death bring understanding where there is chaos. So will you bring wisdom today, Father God? We ask that you speak through us today, God. Yes. Oh, no, no. Hallelujah. We thank you for our church family and we thank you for this new season we're in as we approach and, and plan to regather again, Father God. That we be safe, that you protect us, protect our health, Father God. That you... Lord, just follow through with your plan and not ours. Your presence is here, God. And we love you. In Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. <laughs> hey, you don't need to go in the bathroom crying. We all crying right now. I gotta get myself in the mirror. I <laughs> oh man hey good morning everybody welcome voyager church and welcome everyone here um we have invited a, a few friends and family here today just to help us celebrate this sunday um because uh we have some exciting news we have exciting news i'm gonna call my Amen. my lovely wife up here and um we have exciting news we have a plan that i've been praying about and and looking into <clears throat> for you know, a couple of weeks now, just praying, how can we start a process of regathering the church? Not that um, we're going to stop doing our live stream every Sunday we are. That's going to be our, our main focus is to live stream. But starting next Sunday, I'm excited. Are you excited? Yay! I'm excited. Yeah. Because we start something that I call Voyager Church Island Tour. <laughs> Voyager Church Island Tour. Mm -hmm. Now the idea in this is we're going to continue our live stream coverage every Sunday with our, our service, our worship. But we're going to do it from different parts of the island. And if I could get Kamale to kind of just kind of go forward in the slides again. Oh. And then again. <laughs> there. So anyway, our island tour will start next week, Sunday, in Makaha. Yeah. So we're gonna go and bless our 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 dear friends out in Makaha, and we're gonna live stream from an undisclosed secret spot in, in Makaha. <laughs> if you can find us, you can worship with us. Yeah. But we're gonna, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so you can uh, tune in right here. It's gonna be same time, save live stream on the save 
same Facebook page, but we're going to be in a different location. We're going to be in beautiful Makaha. But can you talk about Father's Day? Father's Day. So we have uh, June 21st at Booth Park. We'll be gathering there. Uh, bring your Ono Ono grinds. We're yep. going to be doing... We cannot barbecue, honey. No, I we cannot you barbecue. Like barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a... I know you keep on telling you guys, come bring your barbecue. But we have a, we have a tradition <laughs> at Voyager Church. It's called Father's Day <laughs> yes. Basketball and Barbecue. Well, we're going to ixnay the barbecue because we cannot barbecue. <laughs> no. uh, but we are going to uh, live stream from the picnic bench at Booth Park and if uh, you are led to bring your own beach chair mm -hmm. under the shade of those big, uh, what kind of trees are those? Mahogany. Mahogany, monkey pot. Monkey pot. <laughs> and, and we're going to be worshiping. Uh, we'll be sharing the word. Yeah. We're going to gather together and, and potluck. Uh, we are going to please encourage uh, safe social distancing because we still got to do that yes. uh, as best as we can. Uh, we got to abide by CDC mm -hmm. rules and regulations. But also be mindful for other people who are sick. Yes. And so they don't want to other people uh, getting sick. Yeah. yeah. Bring you your right. You can bring your you can bring your plexiglass bubble. You bring your plexiglass bubble around your body. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm excited um, mainly to invite yes. um, our church family to come yes. and join us um, on Father's Day Booth Park. Uh, we're going to live stream 1034 uh, right there from Booth Park. So come. Enjoy our, our Father's Day as we play basketball and, and gather together for church as well. Okay, got it? Amen. Got it, good. Now we got a couple more areas um, down the line. Uh, we're going to be at Waimanalo Beach Park on June, June 28th. 28th. And then finally on July 5th, right after Independence Day, uh, we're going to pick a spot. Uh, not so much Magic Island, but probably uh, more mm -hmm. towards the ever end of Ala Moana, Ala Moana Beach Moana. Park. But stay tuned. Um, uh, tune into our midweeks and our uh, Sunday services and we'll be uh, giving you more details as the next one comes up uh, so next week we'll be in Makaha but the one that I really want to invite you to is uh, Booth Park mm -hmm. on 21st Father's Day mm -hmm. all right right yeah and just uh, just a, I mean again going back to the social distancing um, we want you if you feel comfortable um, us hugging with your mask, I mean, just let us know. We're going to get together, but some of you might not be comfortable with yeah. it, and it's okay. Just let us know if you're not comfortable with it. Um, we just do the bump, and if you're <laughs> sick, we do the bump. But Voyager Ohana, I know you cannot handle already. I know you I guys know. need the hugs. We stay so hugging them up already. Please ask, brother and sister. We stay <laughs> hugging them up already, hugging them up. <laughs> so uh, with that said, we're going to go back and bring on our wonderful announcer, Everyone, please welcome Tamayne. Yay! Hello, you probably already know me. Can I check your ID? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. This is Tamayne. Welcome to Voyager Church Online. We want to say hi to you all. Can you say hi to us? Put your name and where you're watching from in the comments below. If you see someone you know, say hi to them too. We hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. Before we pray for the tithes and offerings, we want to thank you all for your trust in God and the support for our church. You can give easily by texting the amount 808-824-4181 or you can mail them at the P.O. Box 179-359 Honolulu, Hawaii 96817 And also we have Don O'Brien coming for our Wednesday nights at 6.30 p.m. right here on Facebook Live. The Bible study will also be seen by our sisters that are in the woman's prison. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you all soon. We miss you. Here is my mom and dad with a message called Jesus in Crisis and Christ. Amen. So good. Woo so good. good job. Good job. He's like a YouTuber. 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 He's like and a little birdie told me that it's her birthday. Can we say happy birthday Ooh. to Jasmine? Happy birthday, happy birthday, birthday Jasmine! Come, Jasmine. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. She has been an awesome warrior for Christ in our prayer team and also our signing and all of that, the signing ministry. We love you, Jazz. Love you, Jazzle. Love you, Jazzle. Love you, Jazzle. Love you, Jazzle. 
<laughs> well, we got a a crazy message for you today. Yes. Crazy is good. And um, I feel as a pastor that we need to address what's going on in the world today. Amen. And I and I, I believe we need to bring everything back to Christ and back to the word and what the word says we as disciples of Jesus how we should be looking at at these matters so I want to welcome my old this kids <laughs> these are this is our worship leader this is Nalu and Kilia my wife Jamie on that side and let me just expand the camera out so everybody can see everybody I'm sorry, this is kinda awkward right. and we're kinda That's good. kinda it's squishy. squishy. That's fine. We're a happy but, um, family. We're a happy family. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Squeezy, squeezy. <laughs> now the reason why I have Kilia Nalu here with Jamie and I is that um, my goal is to bring perspective um, back and filter it through Christ. Amen. Now the reason why I got Nalu and Kilia here is that I know that they are very passionate about what's going on, um, especially the latest events um, with Mr. Floyd and the tragedy that's been happening and, and maybe even the misunderstanding of, of really what's going on. Because uh, in the church alone, there, there may be different views. There's people, which is okay. But we gotta, we gotta bring, uh, we gotta bring to light as much truth as we can, mm -hmm. yeah. And then with that, we gotta look at what the truth says from the word, and 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 what God says. And uh, today we'll be going through Ephesians two, verses fourteen to sixteen. But uh, let me start with Nalu. Nalu, can you just share a little bit on your passion and and why? Um. We might as well dive in. We might as well dive in, yes. and then, then I'll, you know, then we'll we'll hear from from everybody, and then we'll start with the word of God. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's. I mean, to me, this whole shoot, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the it's not the pressure. It's just it's emotional for me. Yeah. yeah. The beauty, the beauty, the positive. Yeah. Sorry, I I didn't think I was gonna get choked up about this because. It's so sad. It's so sad that we, you know, I look around, okay, and I see, I see who's standing up, okay, for the black community. It's not us. <laughs> There's a few of us, yeah, but it's not Christian people. So many other communities out there are standing up strong and fighting, fighting for the black community. But I don't, I don't see the church, brah. It is sad because, you know, we talk about, we talk about raising an army, yeah? Where's the army? <laughs> <laughs> it's this is our time this is where we come and lead and show Christ because people need direction right now yes 
and that's where we come in, but I don't see us anywhere. And it's painful, okay? Uh, and it's it's painful because people don't understand why we say black lives matter it's because when people say all lives matter it doesn't it doesn't matter apparently you know in in this world they've been they're scared to death to be outside even in their own homes people are I'm sorry to make this into something like scolding you guys right now, but it's it's just painful to see that the church is not is not apparent right now in in this time because we are supposed to we sing that song, yeah. Break every chain. Mm. There's an army rising up, and we and we we yell and we cheer because that's that's. Who are supposed to be and that's what we want and now is the time to that's that's the thing now is the time but it, it just seems that even people who have have been so apparent on social media now they're not you know uh, you can say anything you want about like you know and I've seen posts like, you know, I, you know, we have to see God and how to deal with this. We don't have to because he already called us. If, if we're living a life of Christ, if we're permeating the fruits of the spirit, why do we have to ask God what, what we should do? Yeah. Because it's pretty obvious. He already laid it off. He already laid it out. I mean, if we live accordingly to that, then it's a no-brainer and we should stand up instantly. Yes. And it's not, it's not enough to say that I'm not racist. <laughs> we have to be actively anti-racist because it's been going on for 400 years for these people. And there's no justice. And it's the same story for 400 years. And I'm calling out to the Hawaiian people too, because Yo. we've 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 experienced a glimpse of a fraction of what they go through Amen. for only a short amount of time, and yes, we're still feeling the the pain today. But you know, if they, if the black community can come down here to Mauna Kea and stand for us, right. we are called to stand Amen. with them. Amen. And it's, I don't know, I just, let me just give you a scripture because I just see scriptures flying all over the place. Amen. <laughs> and they, I just see scriptures flying all over the place, giving, it just seems like it's just giving us excuses not to stand up pushing back because we're I just feel like we're afraid of what other people might think of us or why is this a controversial subject it shouldn't be it shouldn't be a controversial subject especially in the church that's that's messed up it's a love subject Second Timothy four verse two. Now I'll just start from verse one. I sol solemnly charge you in the presence of God and Messiah Yeshua, who is about to judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. So second verse. Proclaim the word, be ready when it is convenient or inconvenient. Mm. Confront, rebuke, encourage. With complete patience and instruction. That's 
that's what God is trying to tell us. You don't have to pray and seek him what we should do because it says it right here what we should do. There's injustice in the world. So our duty as Christians is to confront, rebuke, and encourage with complete patience and instruction. This is our instruction. Amen. So that's our job. We can't just stand in the sidelines, okay? And when I think about the church right now, I think about the cop who just stood there in front of George, yeah. allowing this to happen. His job was to push him off of George because it was too much. You're right. That's our job. Amen. <sighs> Thanks, Lola. You know, people say it was a risk for me to go and talk about this today. But I don't think it is a risk. No. Mm -hmm. um, I think young Christian warriors like my son need to be heard. Yes. And my daughter. Kilia, um, just a little bit of your thoughts. This was... This is really, um, for me, I like going back to what, like what Nala was saying. This is biblical, you know? And what he was saying too is Jesus was clearly an activist. Yeah. He, he was a perfect example of social and political change in his time. And he had called, like Nala was saying, he had called us, especially as believers, to stand up and make that political and social change. Um, for me, for me, I consider myself active. I'm an activist because my Jesus is an activist. I want to stand up for what I know is Pono. Right. Because I know that's what Jesus did. And he stood up for for the oppressed. He stood up. Right. For those that were getting unfairly treated, and he was vocal treated. about it. And he, yes, he vocal and he about it. and he told he he told people to their face, like that. And let, let me make one thing clear: this is not a political stance. No, this is not. Uh, we're not taking a political stance on this. We're taking a Jesus stance. Yes. we're taking um, what the truth is, and what the Word says we should be like. I just want to um, also just to um, just to put put it out there, you know, we don't have someone of the black community here, and I gotta make that clear that yeah. we don't know what they've gone through yes. and the life that they had, just the color of their skin, and you know, time and time we hear, and we've, we we have um, amazing family members who live in California and and have children beautiful children yeah. and um beautiful family and they've gone through the same events that we're seeing on yes. tv so it's not like oh it happens to white and black and black and white and you know hispanic right this is happening predominantly to our our brothers and sisters of mm. of this our black community yes. brothers and sisters but i want to uh, just say Mahalo to um, Mr. Ken Lawson. Ken oh, Lawson. yeah, Ken Lawson. We, you know, we were watching, um, Ken, if you ever watch this, we were watching you speak, and, and you were talking about Kapu'aloha, and that you went up to Mauna Kea, and you didn't know anything about, you know, what the history was, but you went up there to go ask questions, mm -hmm. you know, to go find out, because you were connecting um your heart was connecting with the people, Kapu Aloha. Right. And you wanted to know. So people, if you don't know, go your brothers and sisters out yeah. there. Ask questions. Like for Mr. Lawson, he's open and available for right. people to come. Of course, you got to be mindful of who you're going to. Jim and I almost invited him. <laughs> I know. I was like, can we call him and tell him come? Tell him come. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, honestly, we cannot speak we can. for... Our, our, our black brothers and sisters. Yes. But we can, but we can, can educate we ourselves. We can educate ourselves. Yes. And I think that's but the awareness, of it. awareness in our churches. Yes. Is really important. 
we need to start family this is what we do right we hold ponopono this yes. is voyager we need to have the talks our family <coughs> talks we need to bring it to the table and this is basically what it is yeah it's it's coming to this place and and hopefully whoever is with us online we are family enough that we can trust each other yes. to to really pour pour out our heart yes um because there's injustice yes to pour out our opinions or right. our our comments and 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 I love this because if we don't have this discussion we will just sweep this crap under the under the rug okay. yes but we cannot and, and you know it, we cannot our god is a loving god do you think this is a loving action that happened no is this a compassionate yeah. thing this is not a compassionate thing that happened no and was this for a protection no this wasn't a protection we've been they've been violated and so the churches need to wake up and we need to start praying for this new season because like we've said we're going into what revelation is telling us we don't need to be afraid but we need to mahala wake up we yeah. need to rise up and i think it, it goes in in deeper layers that i i think people may not realize um what we're addressing today um, because we can, and we talked about it last night. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's Hawaiians killing Hawaiians. There's blacks killing blacks. But this particular issue is a deep-rooted hate that's been perpetuated um, over hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't believe it's just a mindset. I don't believe it's just a... a, a a stinking way of thinking, an elitist way of thinking where a group of people are better than another group of people. This is a spiritual thing, I believe, that's been growing and growing, and not only outside in a secular world, but I, I, I dare to say that part of the, the perpetuation of this hate uh, also is alive, and don't, don't be afraid, I'm just saying that it's perpetuated and it's alive in the church. It is. Globally. And Special, special I mean, we can go deep churches. into this and we can right. go back in hundreds of years and we can see how this is. That's why I believe this time during this COVID and this, this shutdown, I, I believe God is, is, it's not a mistake that all of this is coming up yeah. during this time because he's preparing the hearts of yes. true believers yeah. that this season will be a different looking mm -hmm. church in a different time mm -hmm. needing a different kind of action. Right. Yeah. And you know, I, 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 we might be ruffling feathers. Right. I mean, Good. but but I don't think I could be obedient to God without addressing it. And and it was con confirmed when I when I talked to Nalu and and just to hear his passion for it. And and I thought, okay, we are gonna go, we are gonna go, because this is I believe what God wants from us. I and mean, we need to steer our hearts and our minds back to what he calls us to yes. and like Nalu said it, it shouldn't be controversial it couldn't be it shouldn't be hard it shouldn't be complicated mm -hmm. we need to just live out what Jesus called us to to, to live out amen. amen can I say something yeah I just, I just want to say Nalu that was very powerful what you shared amen yeah. and yeah, having that beautiful name means a lot amen. amen thank you thank you whoo Go ahead, Ben. I, I, well, I just want to open it up to Kelly. Um, Kelly, you're my and um, just from your um, your heart with the Holy Spirit and what the Lord has spoken to you, I don't know. I just feel like to ask you this: your connection um, with Jesus being an activist, can you just share and just um, your manao about that and and the how to of how um, we as Christians um, are equipped to do the activism in in the way that God has called us to. That's something that um, we usually have Bible studies on Tuesdays, and that's something that. I wanted to be able to talk about this past Tuesday, um, just with everything, you know. Um, 
I don't know, my heart is really strongly for, I mean, for me, my activism started with, one, my identity, you know, my identity and who I am, who am I and who has God created me to be, and to, to know to know how to know and embrace truly who I am and love what God created me to be as a Hawaiian woman totally I totally helped me to connect with who he created me to be and put action to that you know with with standing up for for like Mauna Kea or Kalailoa or um Hunana Niho um Jesus we were, I was researching a little bit and I was talking to dad about how Jesus made such a huge political and social change by breaking barriers yes. of what was heva in society. Yeah. He talked to women. He talked to a, Samar- a, a Samaritan woman yes. who was totally against the, it the went, norms yeah, it went against and cultural barriers. The culture, it went against everything. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what Jesus did. That's what Jesus did. And he, he was vocal about it. He stood up about it. He flipped tables yep. because of it. You know what I mean? Um, and, I don't know. What was your question? In, but in this, in, in this, in this time, um, I feel the Lord, there is this whole active, activism thing that's happening, but within it, we have our kuyana within it. Right. And so... Whether it's standing, yeah, it, whether it's be, like being vocal, being vocal, right, or or um, like what Dad is doing right now, having this platform and sharing it with the community or church community, um, and like how we did in Mauna Kea, we just went there mm-hmm. simply just to pray, right. mm-hmm. and we've got backlash for that. So, <laughs> what is your kuleana? During this time for our sisters and brothers, what is what is um, God calling you to? I had this dream um, the other day. It's a very long dream, but part of it was, I believe, for our community. And the dream was we were at a, kind of we're all going to a recital. Got out of the car. Tamali was with me, and all of the, next to us was a reporter. And all of a sudden, there was. Um, a meteor storm that kind of was flying above us and we were like whoa what is that because it's like lightning it was like lightning was going and then it was like going towards the ocean so across the street we're on the coast so across the street there uh, was a, a rock wall and then there was a hill that went all the way down to the ocean so everybody went to that rock wall to get a better look but as soon as that happened, the reporter took out her camera, she ran, she jumped over the wall, she slid down the rock wall, and she went down, and that was it. That's all I saw her. But when she did that, the meteor started to go whoosh, and it started to come close to us. Now it's showering on us. And now it's getting heavier, and the chunks became bigger, so everyone's like screaming, yelling. So I end up going into into one of the cars. But I believe the Lord is saying, do not jump before I tell you mm. the bigger picture. Mm. Just to get a picture. Just to get that picture. Mm. The best shot. Because she mm. jumped to get the best shot. Mm. The million dollar shot, right? That's what reporters call it. The million dollar shot. Not thinking, wait a minute, like what? You know, let's let's assess what's going on. Where where should I be? And our uh, for us as Christians, Lord, where are you calling me to be? Amen. We need that communication, even in in this time, even in that in the, in that time. Um, but it really he'll he'll he's leading us to be compassionate, loving people. And I think that the first thing is to help each other get it under shelter. Mm. To protect each other, right? So we we need we need these talks. We need to protect each other. We need to love on each other. We need compassion. I think I think we need to. I think we do need a compassion. But I think that it's important for us to be aggressive too. You know, not in a way that's violent or in a way no. that's. But I think it's important for us, especially now, to be 
aggressive in the way that we fight and you know how we fight our battles as christians you know with worship with the word yes <laughs> but also with really standing up oh, with getting Christ. you know with getting up shining. and not being oh you know not hiding you know and not being pushover you too and not being not being christians were not called well, us as believers were not called to be these foofy like like oh no like oh frail oh no it's okay you know we are we are called like what we always say especially at Voyager what we always say we're called to be koa we're called to be voyagers we're called to go out we're called to stand yes. up we're yes. called to hold a sword we're called to fight yeah. yes. oh. but that's the whole church we're called to do these yeah. things and and stand up and fight in especially this time mm-hmm. Don't don't wait nine minutes because it only took nine minutes for George to die. Mm-hmm. Was that nine minutes? Eight, Eight minutes. Eight minutes. And it only yeah. took his seconds to run from here to there and mm-hmm. over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't don't wait too long and think, oh God, oh God, what do I do? What is my place here? Oh my gosh, Bombay, Maki already. Mm-hmm. Right, and we need to be mindful too, though, because if I jump over, <coughs> and that was in my kuleana. I wouldn't die too. Right. So, but if I was meant to die, as a as a uh, soldier, the Lord the Lord is blessing on me during that martyr time. And that's a that's Kuliana. that's the risk that we take as activists. Right. That's right. the risk that we take as activists. Right. I think you would grab you and bring it back up. I think. Well, so <laughs> actually, martyrs sometimes when we're called to be martyrs, sometimes we die, yeah. and which is the hard truth yeah. about. The, Jesus was the first Everyone's, martyr. He mm-hmm. was the first one to take. Right. His his father sent yeah. him. You know. We're called. I don't know. We're called as Christians, especially to be to be on the front lines. Yes. We're called to be on the front lines. Can I just share this real quick? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Romans twelve. I urge you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, yeah. holy, like accept, acceptable to holy. God, mm-hmm. which is your spiritual service. Mm-hmm. Do not conform to the, um, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, right. mm-hmm. so that you may discern what is the will of God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. What is good and acceptable and perfect? So we're. This is. If you're wondering, like, <laughs> this is how we should be. This is our duty. Right. This is our act of service right. to, to, to God. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yes. And to stand up, but to be an example. Right. That's, that's why we're there. We're not there to wreak havoc and yeah. bust open stores and loot, right. you know. Right. Our, our job is to be an example. Right. Okay. So. And I think that's a huge, I think that's why it's totally God- Speaking to Kupona on Mauna Kea when they when they I know Kapuolo has been like a, a long time thing But when it became like a foundation yep. for the Aloha Aina movement yes. Kapuolo right. really shifted mm-hmm. the thinking of what protecting means mm-hmm. what yeah. protesting means what yes. being on the front line means yeah. it's 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 um, presenting yourself uh, What is it upright? Living. Right. right, upright, and putting ourselves in the front lines, sitting and not causing havoc, not spitting in the police officer's face, right. not shoving, okay. not kicking, not yelling, not looting, but right. s- standing for what we know is pono to kue against heva, to right. go up against heva mm. in a way that is, bro, you know this is wrong. Right. You know yeah. this is wrong. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna stand here, yeah. I'm gonna look at you, and I'm gonna let you know that what you're doing is heva, and what we're standing here is for is for, for what's pono. Right. right. Mm. And, but, but, unfortunately, that don't fly with the system sometimes, you know? But that's the, that's, I mean, I'm just saying this as Christians, that's, that's the risk that we take. You get arrested. Yep. You get chili pepper sprayed in your face. Even though you, you Even didn't though you're do standing there and anything. doing nothing. Yeah, right. 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 And guess what? All that you described is Kapu Aloha. Yes. And and it's it's not even a Hawaiian thing. Guess what? It's a Christ like thing. Yeah. Amen. 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 It was such a God it was yeah. such a God thing to to Stood up and got arrested. Right. right. Even Kupunas, and that's. They, got they shouldn't well, they got have in, in the moment, moment where Kupuna stood up, it was always led from their na'o. 
Right. Mm-hmm. Was always led by Holy Spirit. Right. And and Holy Spirit will always, even my my journey to the children in Indonesia and Philippines was always led by Holy Spirit, because if that that quiet voice doesn't speak to us to move forward, I mean it, that's the um, the beauty about our kupuna. It's not wisdom. always, you know, it's it's it, it's wisdom, yes, Marsha. It's wisdom and it's a quiet, strong strength mm-hmm. yeah. that only that he who created us could have resided in us to be that strong, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that strong wisdom. Mm-hmm. And I really feel that that's that's in in this time, mm-hmm. we the church needs to be that strong stance for love and compassion and to love on our sisters and brothers and it and yes i do agree that standing with our sisters our black community we're saying you know what yes we stand with you and we we owe that away with you yeah. right we away we with you we love we lament with you mm-hmm. w- this cry inside we cry with you yeah. we s- we stand solidarity uh, hand to hand arm to arm right. really um we come with you and we 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 want to be there with you so that is the Christ like that's why we move forward right, that's, what, that's what we do and this is the heart I believe that Kili uh, yeah. and Naloe is talking about definitely mm-hmm. yeah. we are called as a people to to cry together you know yes. an indigenous people we mm-hmm. all suffer right that, so we empathize and yeah <laughs> and we and like Naloe was saying and that, that's a big point is we we don't know we don't know what the black community is going through but we, but the we have depth, a kuleana, right, the depth of it. Right. Yes. But we have a kuleana to, to be there and to lament with their kids, to re- lament with the makuas, even their kupuna and all, everyone that. At the very least, our kuleana is to, not just talk about this, but really to live this out. Right. Right. That's and that it. that's our kuleana. Yeah. Frank, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Don't stop. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. You know, that's it. And, and going you know. back going back to first love in Revelations, it says, Go back to your first love. You forgot, church. I think we've forgotten what our stance is. Mm. Our first love is ultimately the love of Christ. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you don't want it to end. Before back in the day, I got to go. I got to go. I don't want to go nowhere now. <laughs> so I wanted to share because yeah. my brother is mm-hmm. half black. Yeah. And so his father is black and he comes, but he has never seen his father. And his father comes from a pastor mm-hmm. in Asia as well. Um, but I remember my, bro- my brother is only 15 years old. Mm-hmm. And he also has a disability, which adds a whole other layer. Yeah. But I remember he he called me one time, and he was in um, in school, and he got bullied a mm. lot for his color of his skin. Mm. And for me, as his older sister, yeah, I took care of my brother like he was my own child, mm. and because the father wasn't around. So he called me and I was, you know, obviously I'm here in Hawaii, he's in the mainland. And not being there and understanding what he goes through as, because we have different dads, right? So different yeah. Chinese, Hawaiian, black, Apollo, po- yeah. yeah. So, but for not being there and not understanding what he goes through, it, it was hard, but I could understand because of, I don't know, race or prejudice, whatever you want to call it. Um, But I realized that I have a role to play and like what uh, all of you are talking about. Mm -hmm. Because I'm the only Christian in my family, what what am I standing for? And what am I going to do about it? And that kind of convicted me because I haven't 
and I haven't built that relationship with my brother mm. um, or again you know yeah. so yeah we need to take time to learn how to love people and learn their cultures and their, la their mm. language because it's part of their identity mm. and us Hapa I realized that we have more um, more blessed in a way that we should be able to understand our yes. nationality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Does that make right. sense? Mm -hmm. like yeah. 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 Being part Mexican, being part Hawaiian, mm -hmm. Chinese. Right. We should. Right. I think we have cooling on in that as yeah. being mixed. Yeah. And yeah. that's a privilege. So I don't know Thanks, Jess. Yes. You know, <laughs> and we are blessed to live in a place that is so mixed yeah. that maybe we don't see for ourselves or even experience for ourselves mm -hmm. this high level yeah. uh, of violent acts towards mm -hmm. um, you know uh, rooted in racism right. um, but it still doesn't excuse us mm -hmm. you know and, and that's what I'm learning it still doesn't excuse it well because uh, I you know could be uh, you know, you we live here all our lives, and we, the locals might go, ah, but we know what happened over here. You know, so you know maybe that that's part of the reason. It's like, oh, we don't need because right. that's not happening here. You know, that only happens over there. I mean, it happens here on, on some degree. Yeah. But nevertheless, it doesn't matter. The ones that we cannot. That's like you saying. Well, sex trafficking is happening in Indonesia, so we don't need to do nothing about it. You did something about it. You know, we're addressing it. It's like saying, okay, Black Lives Matter or the violence against black people only happens mainland mainly. So we don't need, you know, it, it's no, it's wherever we are hurting, we, we should hurt. You know, that's God. I think yeah we just uh, to me I think we just need to do the best we can to understand the type of life that they live day by day yes because they're afraid even to just go outside mm -hmm. yeah yes. they're afraid they, and that's no joke yeah. it's not I'm not even exaggerating about that like they they're, they're afraid to take a trip to Walmart after 9 o'clock yeah being afraid of being pulled over because of the color of their skin. There's there's children five years old already know how to talk to a policeman, hands in the air, stating their name, I am not armed. Jeez. It's sad. With the yeah. sex talk that they have with their parents, they also have to have that talk. <laughs> right. In a family, you know, with that family. And so it's it's in their culture to be afraid of the police. And, and white people too I mean <laughs> you know mm -hmm. it's it's ingrained in them and it even further we have we have the uh, the privilege and the and uh, you know we're blessed to be able to track our lineage back at least a good amount of generations you know they don't they don't even know where they come from they they have names from white men right yeah. <laughs> right you know they don't they they can't even trace back who they come from right and without identity you uh, we are now witnessing a lost generations of of people right. you know we are at least have the opportunity whether we we want to receive it or not our lineage and 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 we are rooted in who we are as a people at least and you know it on one hand, we're not here talking and bashing white people either, but there is um, a very real generational doctrine of hate that has been um, hasn't been dealt with uh, fully yet, and and that's where we stand. Whew. Okay. So there was a message, but that message went out the door. <laughs> This was the message. And I just want to encourage you that, and let me kind of wrap this up with this. Here's the good news. In Christ, 
there is reconciliation. In Christ, there is a new creation and a new way of thinking. Let me read for you from 2 Corinthians 5, 16 and 17. And it says, So we have stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. Right. At one time, we thought of Christ merely from a human point of view. Right. How differently we know Him now. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new creation. Mm -hmm. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. There's hope. There's hope for even people who are thinking wrongly. And that hope is in Christ. Our hope is in you, Christ. And as believers, we are called to stand for love and injustice. I'm just going to shout out to those. I mean, we may have ruffled feathers, but like my brother John Maderos just commented, he said, ruffling in a good way. Amen. <laughs> I hope we brought awareness. I hope we brought... Uh, more conversation to your table yeah. and I hope we brought we brought more understanding of of the uh, point of view of, of, of being Christ centered in this and I don't know and I don't honestly care uh, what do you think <laughs> but I praise the Lord I I don't know about you but I am Thinking proud of my two kids, yeah. and their and their love for Christ, number one. Yes. But their love for people, yeah. and I'm not gonna apologize for it. So we love you. And with that said, we want to bless you, and we want to end in prayer. And uh, don't forget, we want to invite you to Father's Day at Booth Park as well. Don't forget that. Yes. Let's all grab a hand. Can I request a beautiful song for my nephew online? Is it possible? What song is that? My it's one day. What is your name? One day. 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 family and Lord we just thank you for today God I ask that you bless each one that has joined us today online father that they will be loved and cherished like all of your children father God father we come before you today and and we do specifically speak and lift up the lives of our our black brothers and sisters who are especially being father just persecuted out of a hate belief system that needs to be abolished father we pray for the abusers as well that they will come to the truth of the gospel and not use christianity as a vehicle for this hatred but to look to the word and what jesus actually taught yes all lives matter but today we stand for those who are hurting father god My life matters, but I'm, I'm not walking out in fear when I go to 7-Eleven. So, Father, we come against hatred, bigotry, racism. Because the very reason this church starts its service at 1034 stands for Acts 1034, where Peter says, I am convinced that God shows no partiality. Mm -hmm. So, Father, we love you, we honor you, we cherish you and worship you. In the matchless name of Jesus, 
And all God's people said, Amen. 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 We love you, family. It's a home now. now. All over. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. All over. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, man. Wow, that was. Yeah, that was buddy. Cool.